We built this beautiful fishing village in last episode and also built this dock. And in today's episode, we are going to be building an automatic sugarcane farm and also populating this village with tons of cute little villagers. Of course, it starts raining as soon as I want to work on the project, but I have a cute little redstone box here ready to go for all of the supplies, mostly that I'm going to need for this little sugarcane farm. First things first, I need to dig out a big space and I literally don't ever have a shovel. Why do I never have a shovel with me? So honestly, I think that automatic sugarcane farms are a little bit trash. In order for them to actually be effective and productive for you, you have to make a lot of individual sugarcane farms. So I definitely debated whether or not I wanted to automate this, but it would be so nice to have it completely automated and making sugarcane for us while we're just working around our base. So I went ahead and decided to go ahead and make it automated. I don't know if I'm going to regret this decision. Hopefully I don't and hopefully it doesn't add too much lag in my world. So I'm thinking about digging like around 64 individual sugarcane farms. So that is the plan. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to dig out a giant space here in this wall. Here's kind of our halfway point. This gets us to about 32 individual sugarcane farms. And I don't know, is this enough? I honestly have no idea how productive this would be. Obviously, the whole reason that I'm doing the sugar cane is so that I have plenty of materials to make rockets and I don't have to worry about gathering any materials and I have it all automated and ready to go. So is this going to be productive enough for all of our flying needs? I honestly have no idea. I know I said 64, but this is already a pretty big space. I don't know. I guess I'm going to go ahead and start it. And, you know, if it's not productive, then I can always do like another layer, maybe up or even down. And then, of course, in typical me fashion, I am not going to watch a tutorial for this. I'm just going to do it off of my memory. I don't know. Maybe that's not the best idea, but we're going to try it. I'm also going to need some glass for this build, and I literally have, like, no glass at all. So I think we might be taking a little break with this build and maybe going exploring. I don't know. Exploring could be kind of fun. So I guess first things first, I'm going to go ahead and start placing down some rails. And then I think on top of this, we need to add our planting blocks. I think that's right. So I'm going to go ahead and add just a bunch of dirt all the way down. And I think we're going to have to make this taller, but that's okay. We can make it taller. Maybe I should just try one little farm here before I go down all the way and mess it up. So I think if I add some water here and then go ahead and plant the sugar cane and then place a block here... Then I need to place the piston and then the observer. Place the piston and then the observer, which I think is going to have to go like this and be placed like this, I think. And then I need to add redstone somewhere. Do I add it here? Oh, I think I did it. Like this? Oh, I did it. I did it. See, I didn't need a tutorial. Obviously, I know that I have to add glass blocks in front or the sugar cane will go everywhere. I will definitely do that. But I guess now I'm going to go ahead and get in what I can. The water is in. Now I think I just need to place a bunch of blocks on top of the water. And then go ahead and place all of the pistons in, which I need to place them like this, yes. And then now I'm just going to be adding observers and blocks and redstone dust. Observer, block, redstone dust. And then I believe it should be functioning. I definitely want to make it look a little bit better than what it's looking like now. But might as well plant a sugar cane. There's literally no reason to not plant it. And I made myself a little sugarcane farm without any tutorials, and now I just need to copy the thing on the other side. And the last thing that I need to do on the other side is go ahead and plant the rest of the sugarcane. And we pretty much have our sugarcane farms ready to go. Literally not a single piece of sugarcane has grown. I need to add some lights. I definitely need to do that, and I will do that, I promise. So I guess the next thing for me to do is honestly go ahead and clean out my horribly messy inventory and then maybe go on a little bit of an exploring trip, and I might actually do that with my elytra. 
So I had to go mining a little bit in order to gather some iron because I literally had one piece of iron on me and I didn't have enough iron to make all of those pistons and stuff. So I have a little bit more gunpowder so we can make a few more rockets. So we have about a stack and a half of rockets. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of exploring. I know we found some deserts before. Maybe I should make a new map. Let me go ahead and actually make a new map so that we can actually have a map with a desert on it and all of those good things. So I just need to grab some redstone and some iron so that I can make a compass and then go ahead and make ourselves a little map. And then I guess we will have to probably use that whenever we actually get to the area. So I'll bring this handy dandy cartography table. And you know, while I'm at it, might as well make one more compass and then one more map just in case that we go really far and we need to make more maps. Are you the person to actually use a map in Minecraft or do you just like to write down the coordinates and find things that way? Definitely let me know, I'm kind of curious. Because personally, I love to use maps and I'd like to be able to tell, okay, this is my favorite place to gather sand and I have a clear path to get there. So let's go ahead and get on this elytra and go exploring. I also went ahead and got an extra shulker box so that we can gather plenty of sand. But I know that we have a desert somewhere kind of north from our base. So that's where I'm going to go first. And once we make it off of this map, then I'm going to go ahead and land and make another map. All right, we're getting to some acacia. I think we'll probably land on that little bit of land right there and make a new map. I definitely recognize this. Okay, so let's go ahead and put down our little cartography table. And then I guess we need to make this map right here. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make it bigger. And there we go, new map. And now we go north. I found the coral reef. That means that we can get some sea pickles. I guess it's honestly not that far away from our base, especially since we have an elytra now. So honestly, I'll just gather a bunch of sea pickles. And then if I need to go back over here, then it's not really gonna be that big of a problem. And then we're going to sleep under the water tonight. And actually right past this coral reef is the desert. So really, this is not that far away from our base. Just a quick flight and we're at the coral reef and a desert. It's not the biggest desert, but it'll be enough to get us started for now. I'm going to try to fill up a lot of sand inside of our shulker box here. There's also a little village over there. I wonder if we've been there before. I feel like we have, because then isn't the jungle like right past that village? Maybe, I don't know. We'll explore a little bit more, but I did finally heal up my shovel. So we're good to go. lot of sand gathering later and we have almost a full shulker box full of sand so that will be good to get us started and deserts are supposed to be flat right right it's fine I figured that I would gather a bunch of sand because I want to get another netherite soon and I will probably make a bunch of TNT in order to mine for netherite so might as well go ahead and gather a bunch of sand while I'm at it but I do want to explore just a little bit because we have rockets. Our elytra is doing pretty good right now. There's literally no reason to explore. So I just want to see, you know, if we can find that mangrove swamp or something like that. But it looks like we have a jungle here, which is actually pretty cool. It's a pretty cool jungle. Ooh, and some bamboo. That is cool too. Ooh, and a panda. Hello, panda. Ooh, look in there. That looks so cool, doesn't it? Wow. I want to take a peek. Okay, maybe it's actually not that cool, but it's kind of cool, right? Kind of. Also, please ask me why I still don't have respiration three on my helmet. Why am I still drowning every time I go for a swim? I don't know. Another big hole. That's a cool hole, right? Wow, that's a big hole. I know it hasn't loaded in yet, but oh my goodness. Look at the size of that hole. Wow. Wow. Okay, moving on. <gasps> Whoa, it kind of like comes out the other side. That is so neat. Okay, I think I'm going to go this way because there's more jungle this way. I'm trying to stick close to those warm biomes. I should probably land soon and go to sleep. So I guess here is as good as a place as any. Smooth landing as always. Honestly, I should probably make another map as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while I am on land. 
and explore some more. <gasps> Whoa! Wow! Look at that hole! For some reason, these like giant gaping holes are just so cool to me, you know? Hello, zombie! You have a nice home right there. Ooh, and some lush cave! Pretty fancy! Okay, moving on. You know, at some point, we're probably going to have to find an ancient city. This is 1.19 after all, and we've barely done any 1.19-esque things, so... You know, it's definitely something that we're gonna have to do. Look how all this land generated. Oh gosh, that's so cool. Wow, look at this. And there's a swamp. Okay, fingers crossed that we find something here. I was never excited to find a swamp before, but now I'm like pumped to find some swamps. Do you think we'll see any frogs, maybe? <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What, I'm so excited. <laughs> what is this, what is happening? We found one, we found one. I just like about passed right by it and didn't even notice. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, I wish I had a boat or like a little chest boat. I'm so excited. Hello, mangrove, hello, and it's so big too. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, hello! Hello, little white frog. Uh, hello, other white frog. Oh my goodness. Uh, do you hear that noise? Oh, I love it. I love it. This is such a cool mangrove swamp too. Oh, and there's like a little mushroom, some dark oak trees. Wow, this is pretty big and it continues going this way. Okay, let me know. Do you think that we should build some kind of base in the mangrove swamp or something? Just like a little mini base, nothing too crazy. I don't know, just, I wanna do something with the mangrove. So if you have any ideas, definitely let me know because we have to do something. At least minimum build with the new wood, but I don't know, I'm kind of down to build like a mini base inside the mangrove swamp. I did not anticipate finding a mangrove swamp in this episode. Oh, and look, you can see jungle trees. That's so cool. Okay, I'm going to get a good view from the sky and see how it looks from the sky. Okay, it's like a little stripe of mangrove. Wow, that's cool. There are so many biomes like really close to here. Look, there's some, uh, some taiga or something like that, some dark oak some jungle, some swamp. Wow, this is a really cool place. Honestly, if we would have found this to begin with, I think I would have based here. Cause like, yeah, it's kind of funky and crazy, but like, wow, this is just so cool. There's just so much right here. And look at the jungle and stuff. Hello, bee. I'm so happy that we found this. Okay, let's land smoothly on top of a tree. And for anyone who wants coordinates, these are the coordinates for the mangrove swamp. It says jungle. Right there, mangrove swamp. There you go. Oh, I'm just so excited. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some of those um, saplings. I'm not even gonna try to say that word right now. Propagules, is that how you say it? Propagules, okay, cool. I'm so excited. I feel like five will be enough to get us started. Look at this mangrove tree. That's a big mangrove tree, oh my goodness. Okay, I guess it's probably time to head home. This is our base map. So I need to head uh, south, I think. Our elytra is still doing good and our rocket supply is doing good for the most part. Wow, and look at that. It's like a little land bridge. This is just seriously the coolest generation ever. Is that more mangrove? That's more mangrove. Wow, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, so definitely a lot more mangrove. I am like, I don't even know what to say. Like this generation is absolutely nuts. Look at this floating island. Is that snow on top of the jungle trees? I'm just like, don't even know what to say right now. This is so cool. Look at this, look at this. I guess I better sleep, but like, doesn't that look so neat? I'm sorry, I just, I just, I love Minecraft, okay? I just love Minecraft. Okay, anyways, let me go ahead and actually head back to the base. Ooh, let's check out this hole. <gasps> Did you see that sheep? Oh, oh, rest in peace, sheep. I don't know where he went, but he definitely uh, fell to his death right there. Oh my gosh, that was so brutal. Okay, what if I said that I've been heading the wrong way this whole time? I was supposed to be heading south 
not north. And I have 24 rockets left. What was I thinking? I obviously wasn't thinking. Okay, this is south and you head this way. I was so confused as to why I had been flying for so long and I wasn't finding the base. <gasps> Ooh, a mesa or Badlands. Badlands mesa, I don't even remember. I don't think we've seen this one before. That's huge. Okay, here are the coordinates for that because that's a really cool find. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of rocket so fast. That is so much terracotta. Terracotta forever. I hate to say it, but I don't think we're gonna have enough rockets. Oh, look at that cool village. That was a cool village. Wow, it's just like a desert right in the middle of the water. This is why I don't have, oh, and that. That is also why I am going to run out of rockets. Oh? Oh? <laughs> what is that horrible noise? That was our last rocket, but we're getting there. We are officially moving on our map now. And I guess we camp here for tonight and then make the rest of the journey on foot. Considering that we're about to run into ice, I think that we are still pretty far from home. Though this is cool. It's not what I'm looking for. feel like a peasant. Oh, a little snow village. How adorable. Honestly, we hate to see it at this point because I just want to go home. <gasps> oh! That's our base. Wow, that's so cool. I was like, what is that? It's just our base. Okay. Oh, hello cow. That does not look very comfortable. Are you okay? Home sweet home. We have finally made it home and I get to sleep in my own bed tonight. That took so much longer than it had to take. Now I'm ready to go ahead and get back to work on our little sugarcane farm. So I want to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, I don't, of course, have a plan. When do I ever have a plan? But I do want to add just a couple of things to make it look a little bit better. So of course we need to add the glass so that the sugarcane doesn't go all over the place. I'm kind of going for a similar color scheme that I went for the village. I feel like that only makes sense. So some spruce oak and then probably some acacia accents, I'm thinking. Okay, what do we think? I think this is pretty much what I'm going to go for. Now I just want to get the minecart in there. Actually... It's gonna be a little noisy, so maybe I should put the minecart in last. I just need to do this other side because it looks still pretty atrocious, but I am just like so out of resources and those will not grow. I just need to get bone meal, honestly. And now we have both of them in and decorated, ready to go. I still wanna do the floor and the ceiling and I don't know, maybe the walls. I might leave them stone, I'm not sure. Uh, and kind of like fix this up a little bit. Now I am seriously considering, should I make another level of these? Because honestly, like we have 32 sugarcane profit, which, you know, I guess is fine and all. I honestly think that I will make another sugarcane level because I don't want my laziness to get in the way of my sugarcane profits. So I think that I am going to go ahead and start digging down and replicate this one just one level lower. Now we have the sugarcane farms finished. So of course we have this upstairs level and then we also have one fully complete downstairs. And so far they've made pretty good profits. Not so much these down here because I just recently built these, but I mean half a stack, that's not too bad. So a full stack downstairs. And then up here, this one has like a full stack in it. And then this one has a half a stack. I mean, not too bad, honestly. I wanted to make sure that we had plenty of light here. And I also have some hidden light down here in the floor as well. So I think we're good for light. Now, the last thing that I need to do with the sugarcane farm is fix the entrance. So I kind of want it to look very village-esque. I just want it to look like it fits in with the village, you know? So I have some goodies here in a shulker box and I think I'm gonna kind of, I don't know, try to make like an arched entrance or something like that. I'm not sure. Let's just figure out what we're gonna do. Okay, I hate this. Let's try something else. I tried to do kind of like a sloping thing, but I hate it. All right, what if we do something a little bit more simple like this and then maybe strip all of the logs and then we can put some barrels as the base right here 
like this, kind of like we did over here. And then maybe we can make this an arch like this and maybe put some trapdoors there as well. One right here, 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 and here. Now I definitely want to have some lanterns as well. So let's go ahead and put some lanterns maybe here and here, oop, here. And I feel like it would kind of make sense if we continued this dock into the sugarcane farm. So it kind of blends together a little bit better. And I definitely want to add some acacia somewhere. So I think I'm going to make a couple acacia trapdoors and maybe put them here on the ends. I don't know, I just need some kind of acacia accents, you know? And then I was considering whether or not I should put some little walls over here connecting all the way in here. That would definitely make it villager safe. And then actually the villagers can go inside of the sugarcane farm. They don't really need to, but they could if they wanted to. And I think we'll just leave it just like this, nice and simple. And I think I'm going to go ahead and leave the walls stone because this is a sugarcane farm within the mountain after all. So I think it just makes sense to leave it stone, honestly. And I'm just so happy with the sugarcane profits. I honestly think this is going to be really, really great for us. I think that I'm now ready to start adding some villagers inside of the village. I added this little gate here and made these a little bit taller so that they're not able to jump out and roam around our base. Uh, of course, they could come out here and swim. Technically, I guess I could add some gates here if I wanted to or something like that. But like I said before, I think I'm honestly just going to let them loose and see what happens. But there are so many barrels around. There are going to be so many fishermen. It's pretty crazy how many fishermen we're going to have. This is a fishing village though, so I guess I don't mind. Villagers in the wild are just out there being crazy anyways. So like they're, they're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. And look, our fox somehow escaped the village. He's just over there by Sweetberry Bush. I honestly don't know how he got out because I was trying to be very careful about keeping him in, but I guess it's fine. Now time to make them go to the fishing village. Of course, I have to get rid of every single barrel I've ever used for building or decorating ever in order to get them to the village, but it is what it is. Okay, first villager is in. That actually wasn't that bad. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, that really wasn't that bad, honestly. All right, on to the next villager. And second villager is in. The next villager is a baby, so it's gonna take him a second to grow up, but I think that I will just breed the fishermen together and then we can just get more villagers that way. So I'm going to go ahead and gather more wool so that I can make more beds and I can actually have beds and then I'll just give them some little veggies and then they will be ready to breed up. I have a bunch of beds ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and get some crops. Oh, how did you get out here? You are not one of the new villagers, are you? I guess we will find out. <laughs> But I just wanted to get some crops here. Also, I've been trading with the pumpkin and melon farmers and we have a lot of emeralds so far. I think that whenever we get a beacon at some point, we're going to do it with emerald blocks. So I see one villager. Okay, two villagers. How did you get up there? Oh my gosh. Okay, you all are going to last such a long time, obviously. Okay, that way they can start to breed up. I really want some villagers actually in the village, so hopefully whenever I put these beds in the village, they will actually go over here and, you know, stay inside the village. I've given them some food. They have beds. They have all they need to make some other little fisherman babies, so I will check back up on them in a bit and continue to feed them. Hopefully, they know that those are their beds. Honestly, I could just get rid of like all of these little uh, barrels right here so that they actually go to the village. Honestly, what if I do that? <laughs> this is going to be such a pain, but honestly, I might do that because I want them to be in the village, you know? Oh, actually i'm not going to do that i forgot how many barrels i actually have just kidding that's a trash idea i don't know why i thought i should do that i'm going to leave the villagers to it for now and go ahead and start getting this pathway in so i need to get it to go through here and then all the way down here i don't want to get rid of this tree because i love it so much so it definitely has to be around the tree also, I've had this pathway branching off this way since episode one, and I still haven't done anything with it. But today is the day. Gotta get some of my lampposts in here. There's one. And two. 
Maybe place a couple of fences. Maybe one right there. Do a little bit of bone mealing. Maybe add a little lantern here in the tree. And last but not least, a little bit of coarse dirt. I think that I will go ahead and bring that other villager over here just so that we have one extra one. Oh, and the fox decided to join us again. Hello, fox. If anyone has a name for that fox, definitely let me know because I want to name him. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Why does he want on top of that tree so bad? Okay, you know, on second thought, I'm not going to add any more villagers. I hate villagers so much. Taking a break on transporting villagers because my villager threshold has been reached for the day. I'm going to go ahead and trade for some name tags because I finally unlocked the name tag trade on one of these villagers somewhere. It's 15 emeralds, so that's pretty expensive, but I do need some name tags. So a while ago, I got a couple of name suggestions for some animals around the base. So for our house chicken, we are going to name him Dusty. We still have two more frogs to name, so we are going to name one Joey. And then the other frog, Nickel. So you are Joey, you are Pickle, you are Lily, and you are Nickel. So thank you for those name suggestions. Now to name our house chicken which he's up here. If you didn't know, this is where he lives up in the attic right here. Hello, Dusty. And then last but not least, we got some sea pickles earlier in the episode. So I want to go ahead and add them to the axolotl sanctuary. And our two axolotls are still doing so good. But now time to add those sweet sea pickles. I don't know. Are sea pickles sweet? Maybe. Now we finally have those sea pickles and it looks so much better all lit up. And it looks so cozy with shaders on too. Cool, I'm so happy with it. I was thinking about maybe adding some glow lichen too. I think that would look pretty cool. Also, it seems like these villagers are just going to live in the ocean because they keep on falling in the ocean and then they can't get out of the ocean. Here, come on. I'm trying to help you out, let me help you. I swear these villagers are going to be the death of me. Okay, he just wants to be a little water boy. We'll just let him. But now that the sugarcane farms have been running for a little bit, let's check our profits. Okay, a stack and a half, a stack and a little bit more. And then down here we have, okay, pretty good. So that's pretty much four stacks plus some, maybe close to five stacks of sugarcane. I am definitely happy with those profits, but I think that that will about do it for today's episode. In next episode, we're going to be building a gunpowder farm, and then I think we're going to get netherite armor and tools. I'm not sure about a full set, but definitely some netherite because now we have plenty of sand and we're going to get plenty of gunpowder in the next episode. I know that this was a little bit more of a simple episode, but I hope that you still enjoyed it. We found a mangrove swamp and honestly, I'm so pumped about that. But I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day. Go follow me over on Twitter and thank you so much for watching. Bye!